Hey you guys, so um, tonight I'm cooking dinner, so if you wanna join me, then it'll be about uh, 35-ish, 40 minutes. Um, and I'm going to be making dinner that the kids can help with in the kitchen. So give me a second, I'm gonna share um, our video and my party going on right now. And actually, I have a little confession. I have been binge watching Master Chef all day. I love cooking shows. I mean, I love to be in the kitchen. I love to cook. So um, I've been binge watching cooking shows all day. And I gotta tell you, what I'm about to make does not look like something that you would see on one of these cooking shows. So I'm, I'm kind of like inspired by them to make this incredible dish, but I'm making pizza pockets tonight. So not as cool as what some of these people I watch today are making. All right, we are shared in my party group. Um, hello, whoever is watching, I see a little eye. Um, tonight I am going to be making pizza pockets with salad and a dessert. So I decided to do something a little different, something that maybe the kids can help with in the kitchen if you have young ones that like to help or if you have grandkids, um, nieces, nephews, or if you just like simple um, dishes yourself. We're gonna be making pizza pockets and um, salad and a cake in the microwave. If you watched me last week, I made a cake in the microwave and it was a big hit and it's all gone. And so I decided to make another one, a different kind, but something similar. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Hey Melba, um, thanks for joining tonight. So there's a lot to get done. Um, I cleaned off my surface because we are gonna make pizza pockets and I do have some dough that I'm gonna to need to um, roll out. So I cleaned and disinfected really well. Any of my Norwex levers, I got a Norwex and viral cloth right here. So just to kind of re-disinfect. And if any of my Norwex lovers out there, in about three weeks, I'm having my own party to earn some free stuff. So um, let me know if you want to be added to my party because I really want that mop for free. All right, so we are going to roll out some dough first. Right now I have the oven preheating and I bought some dough in the freezer section um, at our local HEB, but I'm pretty sure all um, grocery stores have pizza dough in the freezer section. You can also buy like the Pillsbury brand. Um, they didn't have any, so I just got the one that you defrost. The recipe that I found online, I think I found it on Pinterest, it said crescent dough sheets, but I didn't see any crescent dough sheets, so I had to improvise. So, hello, hello, Mindy, and everyone else who is joining in. We are gonna make some fun pizza pockets tonight with some salad, gotta add some veggies in there, and we're going to make, um, we're gonna make a, a chocolate cake. If you can't tell by now, if you've been watching all of my videos or following me, I love chocolate. Who doesn't, right? Well, there's a few people I know who don't, but I love chocolate. So I have some pizza dough that I got from um, the store in the freezer section. I had it thaw out today, and we are going to make pizza pockets using the cut and seal that I actually featured in Melba's party. Um, I don't remember if it was today or yesterday. If you hear screams in the back, that is my toddler, my little one. He, um, it's just me and him right now, and he's watching Mickey Mouse, so he's getting kind of excited. So right here I have, um, actually I don't know the real name of this, the Baker's Roller or something like that. I don't remember. Um, yes, pizza and chocolate, isn't that a, a great combination? Hey Renee. Um, so I am going to just roll this out in a nice long, I like to stretch it out some. I mean, I don't do this often. I don't really use pizza dough often. I really wanted to get the sheets. It would have been a lot easier, but they didn't have any at the store. So we're going to use this. Now Pamper Chef does make a pizza crust um, mix, and I have used that, and it's very yummy. It's very easy. Um, it's great. So. We are just rolling out this dough right now. Hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. And we're gonna make a mixture that's gonna go into these pizza pockets. And I'm gonna just put this, roll it out, roll it out. Maybe if I cut individual little pieces, it'll roll out a lot easier. 
All right. So we have the cut and seal right here and our cut and seal, um, it's gonna cut it. I'm, instead of using like a biscuit cutter, I'm gonna actually cut it in little pieces. Um, and you can see, I gotta push it down harder. It's actually the first time I get to use my cut and seal, so I'm quite excited about this. So, see we have a nice little piece, our cut and seal. I'm gonna cut some pieces. I'm not making a ton tonight because it's really just me and my little one that's eating this. We have other leftovers. Oh, that's my oven preheated. So I'm not making a ton, but I did wanna get on here and cook something for you guys. So I was like, why not find something fun and easy? If my little one was a little bit older, I'd get him to help me, but he's only turning three in August, so not quite yet. He more so likes to eat it, not really do much else, but all right, we got some pieces here. So what's great about this cut and seal, um, and you'll see whenever we make the actual pizza pockets, it will like seal them. But I know a lot of people who have kids that don't like crust on their sandwiches, and this is a great tool to, um, to use so that you can cut your sandwiches without the crusts. Love that. And then also, um, you can make like breakfast sandwiches, pizza pockets obviously, since that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm gonna get my other. You can make as many of these as you want. I wasn't exactly sure how much these little dough things that I got in the freezer section would make, but so I got two. All right. Need some more flour. What did I do with my flour? I lost my flour, you guys. I don't know where I put it. We'll just we'll spread this out. I don't know where I put my flour. It just oh, it's on the counter. So what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Um, I love Italian food. I, I ate it last night, I had raviolis. Um, tonight I'm having pizza. What are you guys having? Are you having Mexican, are you having barbecue? You're just rolling this out. What's great about this roller is you have a, a large side and a small side. And then if you make pies, this little part comes out and you can like poke the dough. I'll just leave it off. I love this thing, it's dishwasher safe. I don't use it a ton because I don't always have roll things I have to roll out, but I do make these sugar cookies that um, I make shapes with, and so I roll those out. When I make pizza, I use it. Um, it's also really good if you um, decorate cakes and you like to um, make fondant decorations. It's smaller, so it's a little easier to, to control some things. <clears throat> and I have like those special fondant rollers too with the rings that help you measure all that out but I love to use this thing because if I need this side or I flip it over and need the other side it works great which one do you have Renee that you don't understand how to use the cut and seal or the roller because the roller you just go back and forth there's really no science to it I mean I might not be doing it correctly I'm no professional chef like I said I was watching Master Chef earlier and I was like so inspired and then I was like, I'm gonna make pizza pockets. <laughs> because after that, I was kind of intimidated. <laughs> so again, I'm using the, um, the cut and seal right now just to cut my pieces because I'm not making, uh, I mean, I, I am making pizza pockets and I want them all to be somewhat uniform. All right. I want an even number. Let's see, I have one, two, three because you need a top and a bottom. Wasn't sure how many these would make. All right. So what we're else, we're, I'm sorry, what else we're going to make tonight is a salad. I'm gonna show you the salad choppers. This part's taken me a little while, I'm sorry you guys. I didn't take into account how long it would take me to roll this out and do this part. I mean, I've only been on here a few minutes, but 
the cut and seal. All right, so Renee, the, if you're using it for um, a sandwich, all you have to do is stick it on top and you push this little, the little button part. Um, it's kind of hard to do it in here, but you're just going to push the button section and um, it's gonna it's gonna cut your sandwich and it's gonna seal it. What I'm doing with the pizza dough is I'm first cutting it by not pushing this down. I'm just kind of putting it down on the dough and I'm twisting it back and forth like a cookie cutter um, or a biscuit cutter. And I'm kind of just, I'm just working with it to make my circles, my dough. All right, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five. And I need one more circle. We'll use some dough to make six pizza, pizza pockets. There's really no science to this. Just got to work at it. Try and make them the same thickness um, so that, there we go. All right, I have a plate right here to put all of them on. I'm going to clean this flour off real quick. Um, let me put this over here. Now, if you have never used one of our scrapers, it comes with all of the stones, or you can buy them individually. They look like this. They're like, I think $3 for a pack of three. They're great because everything that's stuck on your pans, your countertops, I'm just like pushing this into my sink right now and it's picking up all those pieces of dough. And I'm just pushing it right over. So now all I have is a little bit of flour to um, clean up from there and I have a, um, I have a special dishcloth that I like to use. Another Norwex pro a product, by the way, all my Norwex lovers. I'm just gonna clean all my countertop off so I can make our mixture. So instead of making like a pizza where I'm gonna put the sauce and then the topping um, and then the, um, oh, I'm sorry guys, his Mickey Mouse just went off and I don't know, oh here it is. He needs another Mickey Mouse. So instead of putting like the toppings on and um, just putting the next extra section on it, on top, and sealing it, I'm gonna actually make a mixture, spoon it in, and then get it sealed up. All right, so I have my mini batter bowl. It's a small batter bowl. It does come with a lid, it's really great. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some marinara sauce in here. I'm gonna put a marinara sauce. Um, I'm actually using the recipe that I put in, in the party. If you're watching on my um, on my Pamper Chef page, I can definitely send you that if you're interested. It calls for a little bit of marinara sauce. It calls for whatever toppings you want. I'm just gonna use pepperoni. I got some pepperoni from the deli earlier today. I'm gonna cut it in some small pieces. We have our, I don't know how to pronounce this one, Sokodu, so I forgot how to pronounce this, but this knife is super sharp. I cut myself on it last week and it was not pretty. Super sharp. We're gonna cut that. I like to cut them in like little fours, make them small pieces. Well, these are kind of more than fours because they're the way they're laid, but cut them in small pieces. And we'll put that in our mixture. Make sure you guys can see all that. And then we're gonna shred some cheese and put that in our mixture too, and then we'll just spoon it all together. And we'll use one of our scoops to put it in our pizza pockets. Carter, go watch Mickey Mouse, buddy. Anybody have any little ones who love Mickey Mouse? Because mine loves Mickey Mouse. Absolutely loves Mickey Mouse. No, sir. 
No, sir. Go get your milk on the table, baby. All right. If you guys have any questions as I'm going along, please ask because I can answer anything you may have. Yes, yeah, start cutting and sealing, Renee. Because it's so easy to use. And then if your littles like to eat, especially like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, instead of buying the like store brand of the little, like the ones without the crust, it saves so much money. It really does. All right, so we're gonna mix that together. And now we want to add some cheese. So we have our microplane cheese grater. This thing has a little um, cover on it so you don't cut yourself in um, when you're like digging for it in the drawer or wherever it may be. And believe me, this thing is sharp. Um, it can open like a tent or flat so that you can like shred on top of, on top of whatever you're, you're cooking. But it also comes with a hand guard. And so this is great for your kids to help you in the kitchen because they can shred cheese without worrying about their fingers. So I actually, my niece, she was helping um, my mom last week. And I shared this with um, my last party, last week's um, video. But in case you didn't see it, um, she was helping my mom make macaroni and cheese. And she was like, Grammy, I wish I had an Ariel's cheese grater because then I, I don't have to worry about cutting my fingers. <laughs> so I can go a lot faster. So even a 10 year old knows that this thing works a lot faster. So you're just gonna cut a piece of your cheese, you're gonna stick it right there in the hole, and you just go back and forth while you're pushing down this button. And it's fast, it's simple, you can go as fast as you want because you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. I'm not even looking down, and my, I mean, my fingers are perfectly safe. Stick another block of cheese in there. All right, this thing isn't even baking yet and it smells good. I was gonna do like a meat lovers thing, but then I was like, maybe I don't have enough time for that. Ava likes Mickey Mouse. It's something about Mickey. I don't know what Disney does to like, they must just like secretly put it everywhere where kids see it. Because like we go to Target and we're buying diapers and Carter's like, hot dog. He calls Mickey Mouse hot dog. And he'll just, he'll start crying because he sees it on the boxes of diapers and he wants those diapers. There's something about like this secret advertising and then the kids automatically love everything Mickey Mouse. All right, let's see if that is enough cheese. We're gonna stick that in there. Now I am a cheese lover, so I'm gonna mix this with cheese and we're gonna spoon this in our mixtures, but then I'm going to put a little extra. Unfortunately, Carter is allergic to dairy, so um, he can't have the cheese. So I'm gonna make like one with just sauce um, and a little bit of the pepperoni, but he doesn't eat that much anyway. But for me and my hubby, we love cheese. All right, so we're gonna mix that all together. Right now, this doesn't look like much, but whenever it gets in the oven and it gets all like melty and good, Oh man, it's gonna be so delicious. Okay, so I am going to bring over our pizza stone. Um, I actually have two stones because I wasn't sure they would all fit. And you notice a big difference because this stone is newer, it's very light. And then I have an older stone that is darker. And it did not look like this when I first bought it. It looked like this color. But in case you are not aware with stones, they season kind of like cast iron skillets um, and you're not supposed to really use soap on them but as they the darker they get the more seasoned they are the better they cook your food um, and the better your food tastes so it's if you have a stone and it's getting dark that's a good thing you can tell which one of my stones is older and which one's newer um, and this one's kind of starting to get some color but it takes a little while to really build that seasoning um, so just so you know, if you have, if you have a stone and it's dark in color, that's a good thing. Definitely a good thing. All right. So we're going to assemble our pizza pockets. What I'm going to do is I'm using my scoop, my medium sized scoop. I posted this in the party a few days ago. There's a small, there's a large and there's a medium. Um, and all you have to do is scoop and then you squeeze the sides together to release everything. I love these for 
cookie doughs. Um, I like the large one to make brownies. Um, it's really a great product because then you can evenly um, measure out everything that you're going to use. So we have our little bottom section of the pocket. We have our filling and we're just going to put this right on top. We'll stretch it over and push it down just a little bit on the sides. We're not really sealing it yet because our cut and seal is going to do that for us. You're going to stick this right on top and push down and notice it has sealed my whole little pocket. Look how cute they are. I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of like, okay, there you go. You can see all of the little, the sealed sections. They're adorable. I love it. I love cute food. Does that make me weird? Um, okay, so I actually saw a recipe where you can make pop tarts with these, like your own pop tarts. Um, it's like puff pastry and like jam or something like that. Um, so you can totally make your own pop tarts, your own uncrustables, whatever you like. I'm gonna put our little piece on top. They're so cute. I love it already. May not be master chef worthy, but definitely Keller house worthy. All right, we're gonna push it down. And we have our own little sealed pocket there. They might all fit on this large one. I wasn't sure if they would all fit or not. Also notice I did not grease this pizza stone. Um, it is non-stick. And you don't need to grease it and what's great is it just it, it works so good with veggies like if you like to roast veggies it really it just uh, I forgot what the word is it I don't know if it pulls the moisture or it does something really good with it I forgot what it is pardon pardon my forgetfulness all right I'll try and go a little quicker with this so I'm not here forever it really doesn't take long I just I talk too much <laughs> Any questions so far, please let me know. My little, my little dough pieces are starting to stick together. Some of them I'm gonna add a little extra cheese. This one I'll add a little extra cheese. Oops. Put a little extra cheese on top. All right. What about your favorite pizza toppings? Normally, I like beef and like bacon, like, or there's this place here in Houston called Marco's. I don't know if there's any in, in Louisiana, but they make like steak to put on bacon and it's so good. Can you free these and pull out as needed? I know that some people make like the sandwiches and freeze them. Um, they'll make like a month's worth at a time and then they'll pull them out like for their kids for their lunch and like they'll defrost by the time they eat lunch. I have heard of that. I don't know about these. I wouldn't say like this specifically because this was a frozen dough before. And I wouldn't I wouldn't advise to defrost something, then refreeze it, then reheat it. But maybe if it was a fresh dough, I'm sure that could probably work. All right. I'm trying to get all these done first so then they can just cook away while we make our sides and dessert. We're going to just, when well, you guys can't see me anymore, I'm not gonna need that one. All right, remember we just press it down and I'm pretty sure this thing goes in the dishwasher too. I love anything that goes in the dishwasher. If you know me, I like easy, easy, easy. All right, so our last one and this one, I'm just gonna put, I have some stuff left, but I'm just gonna put some sauce for Carter and I have some small pepperonis I kind of pushed over on the side here without the cheese. He breaks out in hives. It's kind of the weirdest dairy allergy I've ever heard, but it's, it's there. It's kind of strange. All right, so our last one, we'll just put this on top for him. And this one's actually a little too small. You just spread it out. The last thing we're going to do to these before we um, put them in the oven, we're going to brush some butter. I have some melted butter in my little silicone prep bowl. These are great because you can like, they have a little pour spout. You can really squeeze in case you need to drizzle it. Oh, sorry. 
sorry. Um, I just drizzled it on these right here. Um, and then you can, there's a little measuring section. And they come in a set. This is a one cup. There's a two cup and a three cup. And I have a little silicone basting brush. I'm just going to brush some melted butter all over the top of these. The recipe did not say that I needed to like poke any kind of vent holes in them, but I think I'm going to just in case they needed them because it can't hurt anything. And I'm actually going to use that little um, little section from our roller from before. I'll just put some little holes in there. Just in case. So then all of that extra steam can get out. And then I'll put carters and lines so I can tell which one too. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven. I am just following the um, guidelines that was on my dough. And my dough said 450 for like 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna put it on for this. Um, but you can follow whatever dough you're using. All right, so I'm actually gonna do the dessert next so that it can kind of cool, and then we'll do the salad. So I'm gonna, well, I'll bring you guys over here. We're gonna go on a little field trip over to my other side of my counter. So I have some chocolate cake mix already mixed up. It's cake mix, um, an egg, and a container of sour cream. I followed, okay, I kind of made up this cake. I used the s'mores cake recipe from the Pamper Chef site, but I didn't use devil's food cake. I had a fudge cake instead. So it's part of a fudge cake mix with um, egg and sour cream. And then I'm not following anything else from that recipe. I'm kind of making the rest of it up with Oreos and whipped cream. So I have my, um, my everyday rock crock pan and it is two and a half quart capacity. This thing is amazing. It can go in the microwave, on the stove top, in the oven, on, under the broiler. It can go in the freezer, the fridge. It goes in the dishwasher. Um, it's incredible. And I'm actually gonna bake a cake in the microwave tonight. So I made the dough before to save some time and this is the classic batter bowl in our scraper, our mix and scraper. I'm just gonna scrape it into our pan. I love this scraper because it really takes everything off of the bowl. I know you can, I don't know if you can see through like it's completely cleaning that side of that bowl. It's really taken all of that off which is great. And this dough, because it's only sour cream and an egg, it's kind of sticky. So it gets kind of stuck on there. And then I'm going to use it, I'm going to spread it out along the bottom of my, of my pan. Alright, so we're going to put this in the microwave covered. I'm actually using my little batter scraper to get the rest of this off. This was another product that was featured in that one picture with the cutting, um, with the, what is it, the cut and seal? I completely <laughs> lost my train of thought. Um, and the cut and seal that I just used for the pizza pockets, like if you use, if you like make your own um, sandwiches or whatever, this is a great product because one side can really scrape all your stuff off and the other side silicone and it can really spread it. I also love to get things out of small cans with this. All right. We're gonna cover this and put it in the microwave for four minutes. We're gonna start it off at four minutes. And in this, we are going to have um, some crushed up Oreos, and I'm going to make some whipped cream. So I'm going to do my crushed up Oreos first. I'm going to use our chopper. I've never used a chopper for Oreos yet, so this is my first time. But I, I mainly use it for like chopping up onions and bell pepper and celery. Um, Oh, yeah, you could probably pre-bake those a little bit and then freeze them. I didn't see that comment before. I'm sorry, Melba. But we're going to top our cake with some Oreos. It's going to be like a cookies and cream cake. 
I love Oreos, y'all. I know it's so, they're so bad for you, but um, it's a guilty pleasure. All right, so we're just gonna stick our Oreos right underneath here. We're gonna push it down. And there's our beautiful chopped up Oreos. Actually, I'm gonna move that over some. We're gonna sprinkle this all on top of our cake. A lot of times recipes will show you putting it in a bag, using a rolling pin, but this is so much faster. And this thing goes in the dishwasher. All right. All right, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. You can't have more than enough Oreos, right? You can always use more. Getting caught up in there. I still got one that did not crush. All right. And normally with my videos, I try to use as many products as possible so that you guys can get a, really get a feel on how they work. In case you already own them and never used them, or in case you're looking for something specific. Um, so sometimes people are like, man, you use a lot of stuff to do all of that, that must take forever to clean. But it really doesn't because it goes in the dishwasher. So we're gonna make some whipped cream for the top. So instead of using an icing, I'm gonna make whipped cream. And I, when I want large quantities, I do use my stand mixer. But if I just want a little bit, like tonight, where I'm just gonna stick it right on top of my, um, my cake as like an icing, I'm gonna use the whipped cream maker. And this makes, a cup of whipped cream which is really great I have some powdered sugar in it right now but um, what's really good is there's this line I don't know if you guys can see it but the line is an indicator and in how far to put your um, heavy whipping cream if you're doing the full one cup um, and all you have to do is pump the handle you can make your own butter with this you can um, one time I wanted really fluffy scrambled eggs so I tried to um, I put my eggs in here and I fluffed them up because it adds and incorporates air. And that's what whipped cream is. It's cream that has air incorporated into it. Um, and so it makes things extra fluffy. And so I put my cream, I have my um, powdered sugar in here and all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your handle and I'm gonna go a little slow at first because you don't want your whipped cream to splash through the top. So I'm gonna go a little slow, really mixing up that, um, that powdered sugar with the cream, the faster you pump the handle, the faster you'll make your whipped cream. You'll start to feel the resistance. As the, as the cream starts to thicken. It normally takes about 30 seconds to a minute. storage container I'll show you in just a second it's starting to get hard to pump the handle so I know it's pretty much done yes and look at that beautiful whipped cream I'm actually going to use the other side of my um, batter scraper the silicone side to get all of that um, cream let me hold it on the bottom to get that cream out of those little pieces so this is great, like if you want just some whipped cream with berries, oops, I'm making a mess, y'all. I am a messy cook. Anyone else a messy cook? I'm usually messy with everything that I make. Always have a mess to clean. Sorry for the screens, y'all. All right, so what's really cool about this is, um, I'm gonna put this on the side to spread. What's really great about it is the lip on the bottom actually comes off and it becomes a lid. So you can store this in your fridge if you just made a little bit. You can add a little um, chocolate syrup and make it chocolate or a little um, unsweetened cocoa powder. You can add um, strawberry syrup. You can add different types of extracts. You can make it coconut. You, you can make it almond. You can make it whatever you want. 
So that's what's really cool about this thing. I love the whipped cream maker. Let's check our cake. I just heard it. Let me get some um, oven mitts because that thing is hot. Alrighty. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's springing back back at me, so I know that it's cooked. I'm gonna let this cool. I'm actually gonna, this is the part that I made up. I'm gonna poke some holes in it, and I'm gonna pour some condensed milk over it. I know, I'm making it even worse, but better. Poke some holes, I'm making it a poke cake. And that whipped cream, that um, condensed milk is just gonna like oh, suck all into the cake. I'm just gonna pour some over the top. I'm not gonna do the whole can. I'm not gonna make it that sinful, but just a little bit. I love condensed milk, especially on snowballs. Anyone else eat them on snowballs? Or here in Texas, they say snow cones. They don't know what a snowball is. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for a second. Um, and just really soak that up and cool off because if I put this on it now, it's going to completely melt. So we're going to let that cool for a little bit and we'll finish it after we do our salad. Um, our pizza pockets just dang, so let me check it one second. Just look at that deliciousness while I check this deliciousness. They are almost done. I think I'm going to put this back on here for like another five minutes or so while we make our salad all right okay i'm gonna bring you guys back over to my other counter we're gonna take a little trip back over here and we're gonna make our salad also make a chocolate Ooh, do they make a chocolate and caramel condensed milk i've never seen that carter sit down baby sit down I have never seen that. I'm gonna have to check that out because that sounds delicious. Carter, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna make tonight is some salad because we gotta add something healthy in there, right? And it's gonna be super fast. So I have some romaine hearts in um, one of my little mixing bowls. And what I'm going to use is the salad um, chopper. This nice little tool it looks innocent it's so handy like i'm about to just cut up lettuce but i use this thing on chicken i use it to cut up carter's food um really all kind of different things i use this with and you're gonna hold it kind of like um scissors but backwards if you notice there's like a little lock for <laughs> he's running laps around the kitchen you, there's a little lock for in your um cabinet or your drawer so you don't cut yourself because this is super sharp. But all I'm going to do at first is cut my lettuce into big chunks. All right, cut my lettuce into some big chunks here. And then once they're in big chunks, I'm just gonna go around my bowl and just chop away at my lettuce. I love lettuce, I mean, I love salads that have small pieces in them. I'm not huge on like having these big old chunks of lettuce that I have to tear apart with my fork and it's just, I like chopped up lettuce. There's this place here that I like to go get um, salads and wraps from and they chop it up really small and I, I appreciate that when they just chop up things small. So it's a few seconds and you can chop up this lettuce as much as you want. Like I said, I actually use this on chicken, like to shred chicken for fajitas and things like that, more than I used it to chop up lettuce. <laughs> and it's called the salad chopper. Handy tool. I had bought this for my sister and she loves it too. Notice, look at all that. It's chopped up, super fine and ready. And dishwasher, love it. All right, we're also going to chop up some other veggies to go in there. I have a salad tomato. And we're gonna use our quick slice to make them in little dices. So this is our quick slice. You're just gonna put your tomato, I cut off the 
the ends and you're gonna put it flat inside the quick slice. You're gonna take the cover and you're gonna rock back and forth and push down. And we have nice slices, but I want diced tomato. So I'm gonna pick it up in its hole. I'm gonna go all the way to the other, like do a 180. And then, or is that a 180? No, that's like a, a 90 degree. <laughs> and then you're just gonna do the same thing, rock back and forth. And I have little dices. It's great. I'm just gonna dump that in my salad. Got some little pieces in there. And then I'm going to dice, I'm going to slice up my cucumber. I have some nice fresh cucumbers from my dad's garden. I'm gonna use my um, vegetable peeler to take this the outside peeling off. This thing is great it like slices like butter i used to hate peeling potatoes and cucumbers and all of that but it really slices well and if you didn't know cucumber peelings can go in the garbage disposal i wouldn't do it like all the time but i didn't know that i always just threw them away but it's so much easier just to do it in my sink and then dispose of them i'm gonna cut off the ends all right same thing, I'm gonna stick my cucumber on my quick slice, got a little piece of tomato in there. And I'm just going to rock back and forth. And I have beautiful little pieces, fast and easy. And this goes in the dishwasher. So we have salad done, like that was in two minutes. Salad is done. Um, I have those pizza pockets in the oven. Let me check them real quick. Ooh, y'all, these look delicious. I'm gonna take them out and bring y'all over here to see them. One of them busted a little bit. There's some cheesy goodness. bring y'all over. I don't know if you can probably see my dirty kitchen. Sorry about that. Mommy. You guys can see the sizzling goodness. Got a nice little brown color on there and when they cool they're gonna be so good. Let's finish off our cake and then dinner is going to be done. So I'll let you guys see the cake. This is kind of cooled. It's still a little warm so it might melt my my whipped cream a little bit, but that's all right. It'll still taste delicious. The pan itself is warm, but this doesn't feel as bad. We're gonna stick all this on top. Maybe I didn't make enough. I might have needed more. That's okay. We'll still cover it with, we'll cover it with all of that goodness of Oreo. We'll spread it all over. I'm just kind of do toward the middle. The outsides are still a little warm. Oh man, it's mixing with that whip, the whipped cream and the condensed milk. I'm gonna really have to try that chocolate and caramel one that you talked about, Melba, because that just sounds divine. So we have that. And then all of our Oreo pieces. I got a whole Oreo I've never chopped. Oh y'all, this is, looks so good. And it smells good, chocolatey goodness here. I have some crumbs that I didn't use, but that's all right because I love to make Oreo truffles. I'll just put that in a bag and then I'll incorporate it into some Oreo truffles I'll make later. And so we have our cake right here that we made in the microwave. So we have our cake um, that really, it took about 10 minutes and then gives a second to cool. We have our pizza pockets that you and your kids or your grandkids can make together, have a lot of memories, a lot of fun. And we have a nice vegetable. I'll add, um, probably end up adding some cheese to this too because I'm a cheese lover. 
but um, I had some croutons and you have a nice meal and I don't know how long I've been on here maybe about 45 minutes um, and like I rolled out dough and everything and it's a cute fun meal um, I know with these cutters on um, the the cut and seal they also make little stencils you can put in there and you can have like faces on your sandwiches which are super cute um little surprises for kids in their lunches um and there's just there's so much that i used here um how do you say so get skinny with all that good cooking i i would say i'm gaining weight <laughs> but i don't always eat it all by myself we have great neighbors that'll come and eat and um yeah, I, I try and share it out so I don't eat it all at once. Or when I'm when I'm at work, I, I bring it to work. But um, but if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I use tonight, please let me know. Um, if there's anything that you would like to see more of, um, just post it in the party group or on my personal um, my my Pamper Chef page, and I can definitely try and make a little video. I know I know I said I was gonna make a little video with the popcorn maker, and I got sidetracked and I never did. So if you still want to see how that works, let me know because I'll try and make a video tomorrow. And um, if you are in the party and you are interested in booking your own party, I have a lot of dates available. My host that just finished out won like over $300 in free products. And like Melba's on her way um, to win in more rewards. She's already won free money to shop with. So if you want to have your own free shopping spree, um, I can definitely give you details on that. And um, thank you guys for joining me. My little one needs Mickey Mouse again. It just turned off. So I'm going to have to let y'all go and enjoy dinner. So you guys have a great night. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.